Well, we have a special moment taking place right here at TV 44, and I am so grateful that you are watching, and uh, I'm just excited about what we're about to talk about. Pastor AK from Nigeria, Africa is here with us in the studio. He's been in the Lima area at several churches. Uh, he's been in the United States doing a lot of things, and here he is now uh, to talk with us about what God's doing in his life, what he, what God's doing all around him as he travels, and exciting things are happening. Pastor AK, welcome. Thank you, Jennifer. So as we discussed before, um, so important just to live by the Spirit. And as we sit here today, I want to just give you that, give you that op option. You are traveling, you are planting a church, yes. you are an author. What's go what, what do you hear God speaking as you do all this? Well, I believe there's a revival that is going on globally and uh, God is raising men, is raising women, people who can connect with his agenda for the now mm -hmm. and actually express it in real time terms on the earth. And so there is a capacity building mm -hmm. going on, a spiritual capacity building that is going on. We're going to see the glory of God like never before. Mm -hmm. There will be expressions of dimensions of God that have not been seen yet, but we have to be ready, we have mm -hmm. to prepare, and God is literally raising, building, and empowering Christians right now for that. What should we as Christians be doing to be getting ready, to be preparing for this? We have to get in alignment. People, we must, we must understand as Christians that every one of us has an, has an assignment that, that is older than we are. Like mm -hmm. if you find uh, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5, God says to Jeremiah, before I formed you, I knew you. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that the formation happens when the sperm fertilizes the ovum. But he says, before that happened, mm -hmm. I knew you. So there was a Jeremiah before his parents met. <laughs> you know, so we must understand that there is an assignment, a purpose that is older than we are. And we need to find it and get in alignment with it and respond to the demands for fulfilling that assignment. So here we are in the United States. You're here now. Um, you're also in the Boston area, and we'll talk about your church plant, plan in a moment, but you've had a church in Nigeria for 13 years. Yes. Um, talk about what you see God doing in that area. In Boston or in Nigeria? In Nigeria, let's talk about Nigeria first. In my city, um, our church, the headquarter church is in Calabar, and Calabar is in the south, south part of Nigeria. And um, our church is predominantly young people, full of energy. And God has done great things in the lives of our young people. Mm. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have people with great ministries, young people with great ministries. We have young people involved with kingdom, um, in kingdom service in many different dimensions. We have young people who have grown massive businesses great things are happening, the wisdom of God being taught to these people. And so we have spiritual people who are expressing leadership in many different areas hmm. of life, yes. And so that's the peculiarity about our church in Nigeria. So as God is doing things there, God is also moving you into a new realm. That's right. We hear about American missionaries going to Africa, going to places, yet God is saying, Pastor AK, I have been imparting things in your life and I am going to bring you to the United States. That's right. So here you are speaking at churches, but also looking at planting a church here. That's right. Tell that, me about, tell me about what, what moved that to happen. Okay, well, um, just like we said earlier, God is in the business of relocating us from time to time and mobilizing us to go take care of an assignment that he has somewhere. The truth is, America has been sending out missionaries, but on the flip side, America has also become a big missions field, mm -hmm. you know? And so um, I just believe God is sending different people from different parts of the world that don't necessarily have to be um, uh, Americanized mm -hmm. in the way they are mm -hmm. going to approach ministry, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that kind of thing. Maybe to shake the place up a bit, maybe to wake up the sleeping giants mm. and to stir the people up and get them ready for the revival that is coming now. And so in my heart, I see that that's one of the reasons why God has sent me here to come shake up whatever realm of influence mm -hmm. he would 
give me the permission to shake up and get the people ready for what he wants to do in this country. America will surely be great again, mm. spiritually. Mm. That's a strong statement. That's an important statement. That's and I right. love hearing you say that. And I love just seeing how you are willing to move wherever God is planting you and putting you. I think it's so important to be able to hear God's voice. That's right. Um, sometimes I wonder if that's missing at, at times, mm -hmm. but it sounds like that is a key for you. What is God doing and we will act. Why yes. is it so important to be in that mode of spiritual focus with the Lord? That's what matters the most, you know. Um, Romans 8 verse 14 says, as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So the Holy Spirit is our GPS, mm -hmm. you know. So you can't just afford to move however you feel. You can't move by your feelings. You can't move by your emotions. We move as we are led by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the most important things in our lives will happen because God has led us into them. And so it's very important to stay sensitive. It's very important to know what God is saying part-time. The sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. So there is an understanding of the times that makes it possible to know what you should be doing. You're not running ahead of God. You're not uh, far behind what God is doing. You're just in step with God part-time. So that's very important. So how should a person be able to cancel out all of the noise around us. We live in such a busy world. That's right. There's so much happening, yet we need to be able to have the control to be able to quiet ourselves down and hear the Lord. That's right. It's hard to do in today's age. I know, but it's possible. Now, naturally, we get information from our five senses, naturally speaking, but we have spiritual senses mm -hmm. as well, and we must train the spiritual senses. And one of the ways to do that is to feed our spirit. If you don't feed your spirit, then the reception is poor. Mm. Every television station, every radio station has some kind of transmitter. Mm -hmm. So you can receive, you can transmit. If your transmitter is not strong enough, mm. then you cannot have a wide reach. Now, so our spirits receive from God and our spirits also transmit that which God puts in us. We must train our spirits. We must educate our spirits spiritually. We must, we must build capacity within our spirits. And it becomes easy to decipher between what is of your flesh mm. and what is from God. That's good stuff. It's good stuff. I'm, I'm supposed to be the interviewer and I'm sitting here just taking it all in and listening to the things that you're saying. You can keep preaching. It's all right. I can listen some more. <laughs> so what is next? We are, as, we as we tape this right now, you are here in Lima, yes. but you will be departing and you'll be moving on elsewhere. So what is next for you? People at home watching this may think, I want to find him. I want to hear more from what he has to say. Right. I want to get his books. Right. How can people find you? Well, you can email me, akomayeugar at gmail.com. That's A-K-O-M-A-Y-E-U-G-A-R. A-K-O-M-A-Y-E-U-G-A-R at gmail.com. And uh, that same name, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram, akomayeugar. Or you can search for Honey Streams church honey streams mm. church just google honey streams church and you get information on how to connect with me so from here um i look to doing quite a number of meetings and then we're still in the very preparatory stage of getting church started uh praying um looking out for the right strategies mm. and all of those details but in a few months we hope to launch and then plant the church here in the United States. So you are open for more meetings. So if people who are watching the saying, yes. I feel like he needs to come to our church, he needs to come to our Bible study group, you are accepting those uh, pretty much anywhere in the United States or are you in a certain location? Anywhere in the United States. I'm sure we can talk about it. I usually have a busy itinerary, but we can check, we can discuss and know if there's an opening, I would be very glad to come speak at any meeting. Yes, and for those of you who are watching this and you're wondering a little bit more about him, you can contact Pastor Brandon Green. He will tell you more things about his friend, Pastor AK. Right. Um, 
Pastor Nathan Branham also had him at his church. So lots of people could say, oh yeah, this guy is great. You really want to connect with him more. And before we go, you are an author of, do I understand 20 books? Yes. 20 books. Mm -hmm. What are your topics uh, or your focus on the books that you've written? Okay, my books broadly cover about four areas. Spiritual empowerment, leadership, entrepreneurship, and relationships, like mm -hmm. premarital relationships and marriage relationships, family life. So those are the four areas okay. primarily. Okay, yes. so he's also an author. And if any of those topics piqued your interest, that's all the more reason to go online and to find out more about Pastor AK. Of course, you can also call us here at TV44. If you didn't catch any of that, we'll make sure that you get all of the information so you can find him. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jennifer. We'll be praying that God continues to lead and direct you. It's exciting to hear the things that are happening. Amen. And uh, I'm glad to know that you are, that God has called you to mission work here in the United States. Amen. All right. Amen. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.